Okay, Year 8, so it's another experiments lesson today. Uh, we are going to look at three different physics experiments, starting with the ice cube on a string. So for this, you need an ice cube, some salt, a string, uh, glass and some water and some scissors. So hopefully you'll have all this equipment. If not, there is a link to a video that you can watch that will show you what should happen. But hopefully, if you can get this under your belt, you can show it to all your friends to impress them. Okay, so this is how you are going to carry out the experiment. You need to fill a glass of water all the way to the top. Uh, you're going to cut yourself a piece of string around 20 centimeters long. Place the ice cube on the water. It will float, okay, so the density of the ice is less than that of the water, so it will float on the top. You're going to lay the string across the ice cube and the glass. You're going to then cover this, okay, with a layer of salt, so over the ice and string. And leave it for a minute and then see if you can pick up your ice cube. If you manage to do it, congratulations. And uh, see if you can challenge your friends and parents. Um, and see if they can work out how you did it. Uh, there's a link at the bottom here to a YouTube video you can always watch um, if you're unable to do it. Um, have a go and uh, see if you can get some people to do it and maybe even video it and send it to us. Be lovely to see how you're getting on. Okay. So to be able to then explain it to people, you need to understand the science behind it. So salt lowers the freezing point of the water, so it's below zero degrees Celsius. So when you add the salt to the ice cube, the salt lowers the melting point of the ice. The ice then has a, the salt, sorry, then has a thin layer. So it melts the thin layer on top of the ice cube. And then the water cools it down and refreezes it. So it's around the string. So that's why we use salt in winter to prevent roads from getting icy, because the salt lowers the melting point of the ice and stops the road from becoming icy and dangerous. Obviously, if it then becomes colder again, that can then freeze over or so. But that's the science behind it. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, that is not it. There's also another experiment for you to have a go at. It's called a cloud in a bottle. You need a bottle for this and some water. Um, you're also going to need a match as well. So you need to fill your clear plastic bottle okay, with, with one third of warm water and then place the cap on. As the water evaporates, it adds water vapor to the air inside the bottle. And this is the first ingredient to make the cloud. You then need to drop your match into the bottle and quickly put the cap back on, trapping the smoke inside. And hopefully you'll be able to see the cloud. And then you can undo the bottle um, cap and you can let the cloud out. Have a look and see if you can have a go at home. Our final physics experiment is the Newton's will. You may have heard of this before. Now for this, you need to make sure you have the colors of the spectrum. So you're gonna need a ruler, pencil, scissors, uh, some colorful pens uh, and some card. You're going to cut yourself a round circle. You need to make sure it is completely round. And then you're going to divide it into equal pi sections. And you need to color these in the colors of the spectrum. So this is when you have to remind yourself what the colors of the spectrum are. So remember, Richard of York gave battle in vain. Richard is the red of the orange, York the yellow, green for gave, battle for blue, and indigo and violet. If you haven't got all of those colors, then make sure you stay with the primary colors, the red, blue, and green, and you can color them, them in equally in your wheel. You're then gonna pierce through the middle with a pencil, tape the pencil just at one end to hold it in place, and then spin it to see what happens. So if you remember in physics, the prism is used to split visible light. It separates the light by different frequencies, okay, which appear a different color. So when you shine light through a prism, so white light, the white light gets split into the colors of the visible spectrum. The frequencies that make up the visible spectrum are on your Newton's wheel. And when you spin it fast enough, you should hopefully be able to see that they blur together and it appears white. 
the light from all the colours is hitting your eye at almost the exact same time. And this tricks your eye to thinking that you're seeing the colour of white light instead of just the individual colours. So have a go, see how you get on. Uh, any questions, email us. And if you want to, send us some videos of how you're getting on. Hope you're enjoying the Excites experience.